Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Ding, TNT. What's what you up? got, man? I got a little something, Jonas. Some terrible news just happened, Jonas. This uh, happened, well, I guess last week. Um, but I figure we should yeah, talk about it a little bit. Yeah, I don't know this is coming out. But yes, recently. <laughs> recently. A uh, six-year-old first grader at an elementary school in Newport News, uh, Virginia, shot a teacher on Friday uh, afternoon during an altercation in the classroom. The authorities said leaving her with life-threatening injuries and uh, renewing calls for greater gun restrictions. The boy who shot the teacher once with a handgun at about 2 p.m., uh, was in police custody on Friday evening. Uh, the, the chief of police of Newport News uh, said at a news conference, he added that the teacher, a woman in her 30s, was taken to a local hospital and that her condition had slightly improved by later that afternoon. But the, the caveat is that this boy was six years old. Six years old. Six it's like, what, what do you do with this kid? And they said it was absolutely intentional. There was not, it wasn't a like, oh, oops, I brought a gun and shot her. You, it, it was like he brought the gun to shoot her and shot her. Yeah. yeah. Malicious intent, planning. What do you do? Like if, if he was, if he was 18, he would go to jail forever. Yeah, but he's six. So uh, I'll tell you what's going to happen. First off, they're going to look at the parents. Oh, the parents are going to go to jail for child abuse because they there's no way that like I mean that that's where the kid got the gun. Where'd you get the gun? Where'd you get these morals? Where'd you get this this delineation between good and evil? Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the, the first thing is that the parents, trouble. Yeah, yeah, the parents are going to be in the most trouble. I would not be surprised if they do not put that kid in a facility until he's eighteen. And uh, then, and then potentially on how he's doing, maybe let him out at 18 if they feel he's re rehabilitated enough. And that right? would probably be the best case scenario for that kid. Damn, that's so nuts for that to be on your record that early in life, man. Like I've been yeah. so mad at my mom. Yo, Jonas, I don't know about you, but I used to get like a corporal punishment. Let's call it that, Jonas, because a lot of people would be like, oh no, spanking. That's terrible. I got my ass whooped, all right? You got whoopings. I got whippings, man. And I've sat there on the bed. I hate her. I'm going to run away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, please kill her. I've done all of that. But never in my life have I thought about actually at, doing it at the age of six years old going and shooting somebody. No. I barely remember anything at six. No, well, I don't it, well here's about the thing, either. man. It's like, I believe that that people can change, right? Like, because I think about, yeah. I just think about myself at 21 to 31, how different I was. Yeah. Let alone from six to 18, how different I was. Oh yeah. 100%, you know what I mean? Like, 100%. <clears throat> so I mean like, can he be re re rehabilitated? Absolutely. Is this probably going to mess him up for the rest of his life? I'm pretty sure he's going to need to be in therapy. Bruh. He's gonna need to be yeah, in some sort of institution. Definitely needs to be in some therapy. And, I mean, I don't know what you like. I don't know if this has ever happened. Has there ever been a six-year-old that intentionally shot and killed someone before? I, f I mean, that's like your first-grade teacher, dude. I mean, Tay K killed somebody. Tay K? <laughs> who, who the hell is? It? Never mind. I'm sorry. All right. It's young. It's this. This is young memetry. Not really a meme because he's in prison but uh and he was young i don't know i don't know how often something like this occurs in like a a generation but it does seem like I mean, it happens in an accidental sense you hear about a two-year-old shoots a four-year-old you know what i mean like because their dad didn't lock their gun up like I you hear know. that I, I feel like the whole like uh like the cain and abel thing happens more often than a lot of people like to admit where like you know a brother will kill his brother or a sister will kill the the sister or something, man. I just don't think like we necessarily hear about it so often, but when it's a school shooting, it's definitely gonna make the news. Um, and in this case, it's like it, it's one of those one of those valuable employees that everybody's supposed to hold in the highest regard, the teacher. And it's like I'm gonna say the Reddit thing, Jonas. No wonder nobody wants to be a teacher. I mean, no wonder. I mean, they're that amongst like low pay, bad conditions, teaching 30 wild ass kids that never listen to you that all have cell phones. I mean, there's a lot of bad. Like, I've, I, uh, I know two people 
who used to be teachers. Both of them are no longer teachers. And then I, uh, actually, I think I know more than that. And I know somebody else who used to be a, a guidance counselor. Mm -hmm. Same thing, man. Just it's, they're underpaid. They're required oh. to do too much. They're responsible for too many kids. The kids are wild. The staff, the other staff in the school doesn't care. It is just, and, and like, and they wonder and why not, the kids wait, are. Wait. Not to mention more and more likely, Jonas, that you can get shot on a job. Right. You ain't a cop. Like, why, why should the danger of being killed at school be like. I don't know about you, Jonas, but I don't think I've ever gone to work and been afraid of getting shot. No, like if, if all of a sudden, like at my job, if all they're like, like at this type of business, the risk of being shot at work goes up 50%. I find a new job. Exactly. Like, honestly, it seems like number nowadays, number one place that you might get shot on a job, I would say maybe army. Number two, probably police officer. Right. Number three, uh, on the set with, oh. I can't remember his name. Alec Baldwin. <laughs> That was such a good joke. All right, number four is teacher. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's wild. Like, it's like I don't. I and then they wonder why kids are getting terrible educations, and like, I do. And then they then they have the whole thing of like, you should arm the teachers. This kid, if, this, if this if this teacher was armed, it would have made no goddamn difference. It really would. And honestly, what do you want? What is she gonna do? You do you really think if, even <laughs> if a six year old has a gun, he's gonna pull the trigger? Yo, <laughs> so you're a teacher with a gun. All right, the six-year-old jumps up from behind the desk, starts popping <laughs> at the front of the classroom. What are you going to do? Get down on one knee, line it up like Steven Seagal, and not take the, take out the six-year-old? It's wild, dude. Fam! It's wild, dude. Fam! It's wild. Wild. Ma, you people need to keep your kids in line. All right, get, come and get your damn kids. Like, I don't... I don't know, man. I don't know. There is... There is obviously many, many issues at play with this. Yeah. The educational system is a mess. Like, and like, I mean, I, I don't think I'm not opposed to them just putting like metal detectors at the door of every school, but they already do that. Not every school. I mean, but okay. Like, not I mean, every school, but they you, still got to come in the school. You're carrying a book bag. Everybody's carrying a goddamn book bag. Yep. Go through the metal detector. This like, <laughs> or, or, or whatever. I mean, like, I don't think that that is a breach on anyone's rights, especially in the condition we live today. Fair. Now, most of the time, the shooter is not someone who came to school that day. They, they, they're someone who goes to the school but came after school had started. It's not like they just show up, go to class half the day, and they're like, well, it's time. They yeah. aren't there, and then they come to the school, or they used to go to the school, or something like that. So yeah. that's a little different. Um, But... But, like, yeah, in this situation, if they would have metal detectors, I'm sure they would have found no, that ish. But this happened in Newport News, Virginia. Isn't that a rich, a rich area? I think that's what I was getting at, man. Oh, okay. Like, this is the yeah. softest. Like, if I think of the softest city in America, Jonas, boom, Newport News. Boom. That's, wow, the softest city. <laughs> it is the softest, just, like, affluent, just... You never would think go, something like this would happen in Newport average, News. Let me look up the average income in Newport I don't, News. It doesn't matter because it's named Newport News, Joe. So if you're named after Cigarette and Fox News, obviously, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have any if, crime. If it's only news about Newport cigarettes, <laughs> you know. It's, they're named after a magazine. It's, oh, Lord. They're named after a clothing brand. I, is, I swear all of these things exist. It is, it is the, one of the most tragic shits I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. And and though though we uh, we kid a lot here, I do want to say is that, you know, I, I hope that that, that child f finds uh, the help that he needs. I hope that his family find the help that he needs. And I, I hope that, that that woman who got shot... I hope that she doesn't have any long-term side effects from, I mean, from what happened. I mean, she's going to be traumatized the rest of her life regardless. Yeah, yeah. She ain't never working in a school again. That's for goddamn and, sure. And I hope she get paid. I hope she get paid out for this. Sue the school. Screw it. Close down that school. Yeah, dude. It. I couldn't even... And she, she's like in her 30s, dude. She's just trying yeah. to work and be a teacher. Like, exactly. It's like, man, teaching like first graders. Never. This, like, this would, is why okay, I didn't I would become say, an English teacher. I would say... Like, but you can't even say that because of like Sandy Hook and stuff. But like, it ain't safe. The, the 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 least risk of a school shooting is in an elementary school. But 
I think wasn't yeah. Uvalde and wasn't that an element? Yeah. Of I mean, so like they do. The have two it. of the biggest ones that have ever happened have both been in elementary schools. Because if you want to be a fucked up individual, you put a little bow on it by doing it where a bunch of kids are. Dude, it's fucking wild, man. I so, can't. like I said, Ugh. man, army, police, Alec Baldwin movie, teacher. Dang, most dangerous jobs that in America. Is, it's super sad, man. I hope she lives, and I hope that kid. Yeah, like you said, man. I hope that kid gets the help he needs. And I don't know what the hell's gonna happen to him, but like intentionally murdering someone at age six, like I don't know if that like you're a minor really matters. Yeah, like it does. You, there's it, some there's something in your head that ain't right if you're shooting somebody at six, but yeah, it's probably because of your parents. Yeah, because all you know at age six is what your parents have taught you. Yeah. You, you've only had a year and a half of education, so, like, everything exactly. is your family. Yeah, it's like you can't, you can't even properly, like, reprimand a six-year-old. It will be interesting to be see to what comes out about the family. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. whether they're, like, like involved in, like, crime or whatever. Or what if it's just, like, a random-ass family, like, good-ass family. Like, that, the, the, the husband's, like, and mom work at, like, random-ass jobs, yeah, and they yeah. just happen to have a gun. Like, I mean, I, Newport News, so. Yeah, right? Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to CrazyTown.com for Jonas. T.U.T. We out.